Welcome back, everyone. And now we are going to the second world. Here goes. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set once again, bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. Chapter 2, Part 1 Bogging to Merle's The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be. But it could be a ways. Let's go. Welcome to Gloom Valley. Ooh. <laughs> it would have been funny if it hit Spike Guma too, but oh well. Ooh, coins. Looks like Peach is going to be invaluable in this level. It says you're going to have to glide across it. Ouch. Not very bright. Even for a Goomba. Oh, I see some cheap cheeps in the water. Hmm, it's locked. Guess we're gonna have to go back. Time to see if we can get across from here. And now... I wonder... Oh ho! <laughs> Should've realized it sooner. Let's see. Much better. Here we go. Going down. Oh, more of these guys. A chest. And if it's any indication, a door key. Oh, it's Gloam Valley. Down we go, and into the next room. Huh. There's some wind turbines here, and some paragumas. I wonder where these lead. Ah, piranha plants. Dang. Ooh, it dropped something. Fresh veggie. Let's see. Here it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna need Peach for this. There we go. And going down. We're now at the other side of the valley. Ooh, it dropped something. 
Let's see what it is. Turdly Leaf. Hmm. Halves all damage. Not bad. Of course, there's still that squish to deal with, but first I'll see what's behind here. Hmm? Who's this? Hot girl alert! We must have been fated to be. Yes! You are my destiny! Please, go out with me! <laughs> what a silly man you are. Very sorry, but it really must be somewhere. Where? Merlin's Mansion? I would go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. Chat? Bad things? What are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute, 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 man. I don't even want to remember it. Don't worry about that at all. Fate, your destiny. Uh, thanks for the info. But if I to come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustache man used to do. <laughs> yeah, Pete has gotten a lot more independent since those days. Though it's sometimes... Though sometimes... It still ends up the same way. <clears throat> Going up. Here we go. And... Back down the pipe. I guess they must be... I guess Merle's Mansion must be using wind power. Not very green of her. Ah, there's a switch here. Oh, sorry, just waiting for the rest of my pill pals, pal, rid of my little pals to get here. And there's the door. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Anyway, let's head for that door now. Not exactly a good thing to go this long a distance. Much better. Now I can finally get moving. And in we go. A Mega Star! Ooh, now it's time for Peach to go Mega! Next. Oh, then that thing right there. That's what's known as a slow flower. It's the uh, twin of... It's the uh, twin brother of the speed flower. Except, as the name implies, it slows you down instead of going fast. However, I seem to have missed it. Oh well, I'll get another opportunity soon. For now, I'll just switch to Mario and... Oh! Ooh, another happy flower! Oh. Alright, another coin. Coins. Coins for the heavens. Let's see. Oh. What was down here? Nothing? I wonder. Something about this room. That's a switch. Oh, there we go.
Well, here's a new enemy. Now, if you take too long, this guy will spit out clones of itself. Though, you can also throw those clones back at him. Now, let's see what's in this chest. Spoom! Good vibes. The vibes that I might blow stuff up senses. You lack exploded? Spow! Ain't such real good blow up stuff up vibes in 1500 years. Spow! I gotta check out those vibes a little more close like scrack. Check it out. Just answer a couple questions real quick. Splam! Okay, spoom. No, Splammo! You see, I wonder if everyone, anyone ever gets presents to Santa Claus. For some reason, you clean your room before a test. When someone says, let's just be friends, do you think, yeah, whatever. You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these weird questions. <laughs> you think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience. You once put on a shirt inside out, but didn't bother reversing it before going out. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, and when you're tired, you want to wake up. You're all- you're getting real tired of these questions. Got it, got it, got it! You got some tasty vibes! Man, spot, you guys are worthy of my power! The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. When you want to switch pixels, just go to the pixels menu. Each second explodes in the next. Spammo! Bombs away! S Spam! Let's see what's in this chest. Ah, it's the Watch It catch card. Watch it! Man, that's a dead thing. But anyway, we got a new pixel. And he's gonna be real useful in this part of the game. After all, he's gonna be real helpful in getting rid of those uh, blocks you can't seem to get rid of on your own. I need to do some real damage to enemies too. For example. Oh, and you can also press 1 to detonate on the spot. See? I see a couple doors here. Ah. Spike Goomba. Huh. There's an entrance up there. Wonder if I can... No, can't reach it. This is gonna take a while.
Well, that took a while, but... Looks like a new door just opened up. And there it is. Right in the... Uh, Merle's Mansion, right in the distance. <laughs> First, let's get rid of these guys. Ah, uh, just checking. And this marks the end of the chapter. Eh, voila! The far side of a beast-ridden swamp, Mario and Co. found an imposing residence. This must be Merle's mansion, squealed squeal Princess Peach with glee. Her friends could only find the pure heart quickly, their quest here would end. But when has fate ever set Mario on such a simple path? Brimming with anticipation, our plucky heroes plunged into Merle's mansion. Chapter 2, Part 2 Tricks, Treats, Traps Burley's Mansion Ooh, there's a coin here. There's a coin block here. I'll just f I'll just keep blocking this. Out of the hedge. And right into the next one. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Or is it? Ooh, there's a ladder leading up. Let's see where it goes. For what I can see, very high up. Looks like this is gonna have to take a few trips. Gonna have to uh, be careful where I step. Okay, top of the ladder, onto the block. Got it. And in the chest is a stopwatch. Going in. Uh oh. Looks like looks like a guard dog. Better be careful. Let's see. That's a crystal ball. Does there be anything odd about it? There we go. Let's see. Oh, who's this? Well, hi there, Bing. Welcome. Welcome to Merle's Mansion. Merle's handmaiden. My name's Mimi. Call me Mimi Kins if you want. You see, Lady Merle, aren't you? Well, Lady Merle's on the second floor in the farthest room. Listen, don't dare go into any other rooms by accident or else. Enjoy your visit. Ooh, big bad guard dog. Don't want to go in there. At least not yet. Ah, oh, mushroom. I really need that. Oh! A trap door. Whose bright idea was this? Booze. That's one. Oh, I got an idea. The what? Thought I had it that time. Hmm. I guess there's some kind of invincibility frame when they're phasing. Hmm. It's timed, I see. There we go. I'm just gonna head over here. And up we go. I'm not gonna fall for the same trap. Note to self. Watch where I step. Alright then. 
Let's try this again. Only this time, let's switch to Peach so we can float over that trap, trap door. Seriously? Ah. That mushroom, it taunts me! I'll be right back. Ah, finally! Seriously? Well, thankfully... Now, if you hadn't figured it out before, these guys can only be beaten with Boomer. Like so. Once they hit Boomer, boom! That's all there is to it. Now I just have to wait for a while and make sure we don't fall for the same trap again. Just have to make sure. Nope, nothing. Guess there's only one path left to go. I'm not falling for that trap again. Coins! And lots of them. And they... Well, I'll just switch to 2D. How did I not see that coming? Now we got these swoops, which are essentially the which are essentially the bats of the Mario universe. Oh, he dropped something. Sleepy sheep. As the name implies, it put, puts enemies to sleep. Now I'm just gonna have to float over and hope I don't fall again. Okay, that time was intentional. There's still that one coin though. So I'll be right back. Oh, that ceilings a lot. I'm trapped. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just wait till it gets low enough. Then once it does... I'll jump. This way, I can ride it back up to the ceiling. Why does it always have to be so slow? Oh well. Don't! I'll be right back.
Well then, let's try it again. And hopefully it won't fall this time. There we go. Now just walk to the next end. Then walk to the other. Carefully. And we got a house key. And I have an inkling where that goes. So let's head back to the hall. And of course, there's still that guard dog to deal with. Looks like I may have to do a little flipping. So I use the house key. And... I wonder why that savage thing went straight for her and paid us no mind. I like to think we look rather tasty. What do you suppose it means? This mansion is quite odd. I feel certain it holds many secrets. <laughs> I'll say. But anyway, here ends part two. End of chapter. And that's about all the time we have for this one. This is Megadude901. Until next time.